Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge, Day 60. This is 3.0, Day 60. Today, I want to continue kind of the uh, trend over the last couple of days doing some new videos regarding DocuSign. And first, I have to give thanks to Gus Brown. Gus Brown, who posted this in the actual KW Command Facebook group. Um, so, this is a way using Command and DocuSign for you to send an email basically documenting email correspondence that you've had with somebody into a PDF and then posting that PDF automatically into the room where all of your other documents remain. So I can see use cases for this. If you had correspondence with a buyer, a seller, a title company, a lender, anything that you wanted to be able to hold on to and reference in the future. Um, no, no one ever wants to think about possible litigation and yet if it was something where you didn't want to have to search through years and years of emails to find where that email was that the buyer said this or the seller said that or whatever, um, this is a quick and easy way for you to store that email correspondence in your DocuSign room. So the first thing we want to do is go into our opportunity and we're going to find that test opportunity that we've been working on the last couple of days here under active and I'm going to open the opportunity. I'm going to get into the documents tab. And then I want to get into the actual transaction, which will open DocuSign for me. And it'll open the actual room. Remember, I'm looking for the room uh, number, right? I need this ID number. And then the trick is using hashtag PDF. So here is an email that I just set up for test purposes. I'm gonna click on forward. I'm gonna send that to my DocuSign email, which we've talked about the last few days you can find in your inbox. It's typically, you know, something dot something at mail.docusign.net. I'm going to click on this arrow in Gmail in order to edit the subject. And I'm going to change this subject to hashtag PDF. And then I need that ID number, the room number 306-1930. So 306-1930. So hashtag PDF and then hashtag the room ID number. Click on send. And then we're going to come back into our room here within DocuSign and within a few moments you'll actually have a PDF show up within your documents that shows the correspondence that you just had. So it does take you know, about a minute or so. However, that will then be a new document that you have then available within your room documents. So again, I would say if there was ever anything where I needed to document um, a conversation with regards, especially early on, right? We know a lot of times we um, discuss things with our client with regards to terms and conditions via email, and we want to just save all of that so that we can reference it in the future. This is that quick and easy way to do that. So if I click on refresh, let's see if it shows up. And it's taking a little bit longer. Uh, it took about a minute or so earlier. Um, and so you know, just kind of a best practice to save some of that correspondence in your document room in order to make sure that you have it so that you can reference it in the future. Even when I close out this room, I can still come back to it. I would just search for um, rooms that I had closed or transactions that I had closed and within my DocuSign rooms account and I could get back into this room and then access that email. So again, it was taking about a minute maybe to, to get that uh, document to show up, but here it is down here at the bottom message from Marty Miller. If I click on it, it's going to load the document. And here is the correspondence that I just had, right? I forwarded it to myself. So that's why my signature is still here. But here is the actual text, which is what we needed to be able to see to reference in the future. So that is a quick and easy way. Again, thank you, Gus Brown, for bringing that to my attention so I could bring it to all of yours. Quick and easy way to automatically forward an email or a string of emails. This could be, you know, three or four or six emails long and uh, be able to automatically change that into a PDF format and quickly and easily forward it to my DocuSign room for just posterity's sake, use in the future, reference, etc. So that's it for today, guys. Day 60 of the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.